Well, hey there, little Billy. Are you judging that man for eating dog? Do you know the implications of eating dog? Well then, Billy, why don't we go and find out? You see, Billy, dating as far as approximately 7000 BC, people have been eating dog. Even some modern cultures today have adopted this practice. Despite this, they are in a small minority. However, there are some outsiders who dare to step outside of their comfort zones and taste these foreign cuisines. One such outsider is writer and explorer Mark Wines. So a few years ago, I took a trip to China, and while I was there, I sat down in a restaurant and ordered a bowl of noodles. You know, thought it was a regular plain bowl of noodles. Really wasn't. It was probably the best bowl of noodles I've ever had in my life. Now, it wasn't until later that I found out the meat inside of the bowl was actually dog meat, and it was it was really surprisingly good. So after digging into it a little more, I found out that dog meat is just like any other red meat, like beef or lamb. So if people were blindfolded and given the choice between the three, they would all pick dog meat hands down all the time. All right, where's my money? Unfortunately, in addition to this, there are organizations out there such as the Pound or PETA that euthanize stray dogs and other animals which limit the possible food sources for starving peoples. Now then, Billy, do you believe you truly understand the history of eating dog? Do you believe you can sympathize with dog eaters? Now that's the spirit, Billy. Go out into the world and share your knowledge about dog eating. Ah. Oh. My belly, it's so empty, 